welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Hot Toys Spider-Man 2099 Black Suit. Now this is exclusive only to Sideshow Collectibles so that's the only place you can pick this particular uh, figure up. Now I must admit I am definitely excited about having this. And this is actually my first Spider-Man like you know from like a, like on this level it's like Sideshow or Hot Toys like 6 scale basically. So yeah I'm definitely excited about picking this one up. <clears throat> Now of course we know that Miguel O'Hara was the uh, this particular Spider-Man, and to be honest, I even still have that comic book right here. I got this comic book back when it was original release, like the first issue of Spider-Man 2099. That's how long I actually had this comic book. I got it back when I was like reading comic books a lot, like in the early 90s. So that's how long I had that, and I still had it all this time. But this suit right here, that, that's right here, the Spider-Man 2099 suit. It's actually based on how it looks in the video game too, which is very similar. <clears throat> and this is an awesome video game. I think this is probably the greatest superhero video game that I have ever played. I, I think it's even better than the Batman Arkham video games, you know. So I definitely recommend for people who haven't played it. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it to this uh, right now. This here is the box that contains the Spider-Man 2099 figure from Hot Toys. As you can see, it has an awesome image of the uh, the figure right down the front. You can see the web shooting right there on the side. And it has this on the side too, like the name of the figure, like Spider-Man 299. Black suit. It has a product code too. And it says uh, video game masterpiece too as well, so that's kind of new to me too. Red Dog video game masterpiece. Now I know that I'm kind of curious about their calling this the black suit. And this was how that suit actually looked in the comic books. So I'm wondering are they going to do another Spider-Man 2099 with a different color? I'm not sure. But they have this magnetized side right here too as well. <clears throat> so you can open it on up. Yeah, it's like an image of like a scripture too as well right here that you can read. And of course there's like the figure on the inside with the accessories. Actually, I was just like mad that I mean the creators of the of the uh, the figure. <clears throat> and the nervous how you can tell this is exclusive to like size show only because it has like that sticker up there. I know the sticker comes like a different design too. So they have other versions of the uh, size show exclusive sticker. So this is why I picked this up uh, with size show collectibles. Of course, you can see at the back of the box too as well. This also has like a red background or backdrop for diorama. <laughs> and as usual, you get like the instruction manual from like Hot Toys of how you put your, your figure together or assemble it. It even shows you how much uh, limitations the figure has to itself. Now what I want to do is I actually uh, assemble the stand or put it together and this is how it actually looks. So I have to take this uh, plastic on and off of it too. And I must admit this is cool looking. That's how it actually looks. It says Marvel Spider-Man. Then when you look right here it says uh, Spider-Man 2099. So I think that is cool. Yeah, you know, he has like a dynamic type stand, you know, where you can have poles, I guess like in web swinging poses and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you would just take this and you would stick it in right where, where that slot is. Then, of course, you know, you take this and put it on top, but you also have to remove this too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that comes off. And then this will go on top. Yeah, I'm very familiar with these kind of uh, stands. <laughs> you get a question, you can bend it all kind of ways you want and stuff, you know. <laughs> now for the figure itself. So, yeah, this plastic in here. So as usual, you know how to take all this plastic off. Off of my leg, I'm gonna have to cut it too. So let's see. 
Okay, there's a Spider-Man 2099 figure from Hot Toys. What I'm doing is, uh, yeah, he still had plastic on him right there. I took it off his feet. I'm going to go ahead and measure him. Yep, he's 12 inches, like just over 12 inches in height. So I'll talk about the likeness and articulation of this uh, figure too as well. So yeah, this is how it actually looks. I am impressed. This is superb. Being that this is my first Spider-Man figure. <laughs> detail that is awesome now if I'm not mistaken from what I'm hearing I gotta look at the comic books the symbol would have been like on the back too there's like a spider symbol on his back too as well so I'm just curious about that and here's the match you know here can turn left right I like how that symbol looks too that's cool and I can tell this is like a separate like head plastic it's not actually built into the suit it's like an actual head scuff Looks like he can't really look up or down that much unless you probably press it into like the neck. He even has like these right here on his arms who I heard about these. They are like pointy too as well. <coughs> mm -hmm. You can stack his hands too. The detail in that is just awesome. I don't like his hands. That's yeah, cool. I like how you can even set the material like bending up like a real shirt or a real like coat or you know a jacket will do. I think that's awesome. You can tell it will limit the figure too as well though. And then the spider symbol that's on his chest, as you can see, is actually like printed into his chest. So it actually does bend if like you do like a ab crunch or anything like that, it will bend. <coughs> There are his shoes, very cool looking. You can even bend them right there. You can see how that looks. I see he has like ratchet type joints too, so you can bend his arms like that. I've been hearing about the limitations of this figure too. You can split. I sure I probably can go far in that with this too, you know. With with Spider Man. He does have a band in the knee. And I like kind of material they had bands that is awesome. That's like a real like suit. Like you know, it's like a real skin suit. I think that's so cool. Hands can turn. So yeah, he has ratchet type joints. I know he can't really do the ab crunch because the symbol I believe that's probably why. Yeah, I think this is awesome though. This is a pretty awesome figure right here. Yeah, you can also bend uh, his arms too as well. So you can like bend them. You can see the web shooters right there on his hands too. And that's kind of cool. This suit is awesome. Like the material, <clears throat> it's like very skin tight. I like that. That's so awesome. Now I want to move on to the accessories that come with the uh, Spider-Man 2099 figure from Hot Toys. And as you can see, these are like the webs I've been hearing about too. He has like a bunch of webs. Like in this tray right here. Then he also has like a swinging type web right here in this tray. Then he has like this uh open web. I think that's what they call it. Right? You could say funnel type web. So I'm gonna take each one of these on uh so there's one, two, three, four. Ah, he's cool. So you get two of these kind of wells. Like he's shooting like a well blast. That's cool too. Yeah, so you can have them part like in each hand. They're nicely designed too. So you get two of these. Then you just get two straight webs. <clears throat> and 
Then you get this rail right here, like he's just got through swinging. I think that's what it's saying. Then you do get a swinging well where you can put like his hand in this one. <coughs> and then, like I mentioned before, like this this web right here. Yeah, I believe this one is like you just got to swing them the way it is actually designed. Then I want to move on to the accessories, uh, what well, the hand accessories that come with the uh, Spider-Man 299 figure. He has like these pegs too as well that Hot Toys give you. You know, if you break them, so I think that's still cool. And he has a set of like uh, 10 alternate hands, but like 12 hands like all together. So you have like five like left hands and five uh, right hands, cause the uh, <clears throat> these are the right type hands right here. Like this is like the uh, the web shooting hand, as you can see. And this is awesome too. Like the design and that, you can even set the fingernails on it. And then that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Then he has like this grassman type hand. Then he has this uh claw hand. Like he has like a grip. Then he has like this chopping type hand. <laughs> then he has like a solid fist. But there's a hole you can tell you can put a web in there. Then he has this right here I'm gonna talk about too. This is like for like the web shooter. This is what you put the webs in. Then if you move to the other side, he has like uh, that same web shooter too again. These are for like the other hand. This one right here. So you have actually uh, two of those for each hand for your web shooters. And even on the, uh, that's right, that was the left side too I was doing. I'm oh, sorry. This is the right uh, spider uh, shooting hand right here. Then even over here, you guys like a claw hand. Like I said, that detailing that is awesome the way that it looks. That looks cool. Then he has uh, this grassman type hand. Then he has a pointy finger too, so I think that's kind of cool. I probably use it this at times. Then he has a solid fist. Now this doesn't have no hole in it, like the other one do. So yeah, those are the hands that uh, come with him. <laughs> and this is how you do like the uh, the web shooting hand. If you look at this hand right here, it has like this this peg thing that which you actually have to pull out. You can slide the peg holes on the inside. So then what you would do is make sure you have the right one too. You would take like the web shooter thing right here. And you can see that it has like them pegs on it. You just like plug it on there. So let's see if I can uh, do it. Yep, there it is. It went right on in. <laughs> then once you have that assembled, you could take any one of like your webs. It's like this one right here, where he's like shot out a web. You could take it and you would stick it right in this uh where there where you see the web thing, you would stick it right on that. Doesn't like you gotta force it in, it looks like it just just sits in there, it doesn't even go that far in. Well I didn't have to put it that far in. That's how it actually looks. I must admit that is awesome. That really is cool. Yeah, as you can see, that's how that should look. That particular web, I could put other webs on them, but just giving an example of how it looks, that is awesome. I like how they designed that. <laughs> cool. Okay, there's the Hot Toys Spider Man 2099 Black Suit. Figure this is the Sideshow exclusive, so this is available only on Sideshow collectibles. Cause you can tell by the sticker right there, this figure is amazing. This is awesome, and this is my first uh, Spider-Man figure. You know, like six scale, or you know, like on this level, like. So yeah, I'm just I started to collect these, and like I said, I was like a uh, <clears throat> Spider-Man. This is my all-time second favorite superhero after Batman, but this is the uh, particular video game. That this particular figure is based on, because in the game, Spider-Man gets to wear a bunch of different suits based on like his uh, classic like costumes, and the 299 suit is one of the ones he wears like in the game. So this is actually still Peter Parker in this suit, 
but you know originally it was Miguel O'Hara who wore the suit, you know. And like I said, I think this is the greatest superhero game ever made. So, you know, Joe, it really is that good. And I also still have the uh, actual first issue of Spider-Man 299. I got this when it first came out. I remember wait. I remember waiting on this. When I was reading comic books, I was waiting for them to actually release this, and I managed to pick it up. I still had it all this time, because this is from the early 90s. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's, uh, yeah, 1992. I remember picking that up, because I even had like another issue in the back right there. But yeah, the detail of the, the suit itself is just awesome. The way, like, I like how it bends and stuff. You can say the crease and wrinkles in it. I think that's so cool. You can even tell that you gotta be kind of careful with it because one for like rips, you know. And I do notice what some things that some people were saying about <clears throat> like the articulation of the figure is pretty good, but you can't really get him like a pose like that the Spider Man really would truly do, you know. And I'm kind of like all that web swinging pose, how he be like pose or something. A lot of stuff you would do, you can't really do that with this particular figure, you know. But it still is awesome, and I would definitely recommend picking the snow up. And I'm still curious about the black suit thing too. I wonder what that means. Ben, this was how he actually did look, like in the common books. So I wonder are they gonna do another version of the 2099 Spider-Man? You know, I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is the Hot Toys Spider-Man 2099 black suit. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.